Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft tutorial video. One that you guys have been patiently waiting for. A lot of requests. It's the Basilica from my Highland Dwarf Village. Now it's going to be a bit more complicated compared to my other videos, but hopefully it will be easy to follow and I will skip the boring bits and speed things up where I can. Now it will be split up into two or three videos depending on how long it's going to take, but we will get this done nevertheless. So I hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial video and as always don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Right guys so once again we're back on the super flat world. I have the basilica as reference and we're gonna start by building the base using some cobblestone. Now I've already done this to save time but don't worry I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view with some of the dimensions. Now what you're gonna notice is that all of these gaps are either three blocks in length or one block in length. Now the one thing you need to watch out for is the top corners of the cross. What you're going to notice is instead of having the cobblestone block here, it's just going to extend an extra block out so you get this weird shape. And that's going to be the same for the three corners of the cross. So you should be able to copy this correctly just by looking at it. So the next few steps are going to be really simple. Now the first thing you need to do is grab some stone brick slab and fill up all of the gaps ignoring the entrance and for this weird corner right here just place one block leaving this free because that's what's going to be visible from the outside and the next thing you need to do is grab some cobblestone wall and place them on top of the cobblestone. Now this is the John Smith's texture pack and what I did was I used cracked stone bricks to place them on top of the cobblestone wall because it gives you this extra detail. If you don't have this texture you can just use plain stone bricks and it should be fine. Next up we're going to be using some cobblestone half slab to go around this top edge. Same thing for the weird corner over here, just one block. Right guys, so far so good, we're going to move on to the inside wall. Basically we're going to be using some oak wood beams and we're going to be leaving a one block gap and then a beam and it's going to be the same pattern all the way around the entire basilica. The only place where we won't have a one block gap is at the top corners of the cross where it's just going to be like this. We're going to have a three block gap instead. So again, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, three block gap and then again. So let's finish this off using a time lapse. So basically this is what you should end up with. Straight after that just fill up all of the gaps using some jungle wood planks. And you might as well just remove all of the grass blocks and replace it with some oak wood. So moving back to the top corners where we have the three block gap, we're just going to add some extra oak beams right alongside that one. So the same thing goes for all three. And then we can just finish off the inside wall adding some windows. For the three block gap we're just going to add a row of three windows. And the rest of the one block gaps can have a window except for the corners we're gonna just ignore the corners for now and this is pretty much gonna change once we do the interior so don't bother too much about it so that's just fine for now So surprisingly that's everything for the first floor of the basilica and I haven't made the video too long so that's good. We're going to move on to some of the more complicated stuff like the front of the church 
But the first thing we want to do is just grab some cobblestone stairs and place them right on top of the stone bricks. And just make sure that the cobblestone stairs are facing into the basilica. And then right behind those cobblestone stairs, we're going to place a full block of cobblestone. Just like that. So again, just a full block of cobblestone right behind the cobblestone stairs. So with that done, we can use some oak wood beams to fill up these gaps. And that's what gives a nice detailed edge to the basilica. So let's finish this off. Again, for this corner, we're just going to add one block. And now we can grab some cobblestone full blocks and raise a beam, which is two blocks in length, just all the way around, ignoring the spot where we have the three block gap. So there's not going to be any blocks on top of that. So again, it's the top corners of the cross which you want to ignore. Now these corners of the basilica are going to be raised using some stone bricks until it meets alongside with the cobblestone. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then over here we're just going to add an extra block of oak wood. And now we're going to construct the outer balcony. What we need to do is just grab some spruce wood planks and just go around the entire top edge of the basilica. So just a basic outline. Then again we need to do the exact same thing but this time we're going to be using some spruce wood stairs to go around this edge. Now the front of the basilica is the only place where you're going to find the stairs joining like this. The rest of the corners should just basically have the stairs jagged across instead of having this corner block. So again, this instead of that, basically. The only way I can explain it. So let's finish this off. Right guys, so there's just one change that we need to make before we move on so that we have enough space for the outside balcony. We just need to remove these three stair blocks and replace them with full blocks and then just add the stairs again. And that just gives us enough space to walk past. And I've already done this to all four corners to save time, so just do that now. So now we can move on to the second floor wall and basically what we're going to have is cobblestone for these inside corners. One, two, three, four. And we're going to have stone bricks that are going to extend all the way until it covers up that block of oak wood. The same thing goes for all three corners. And then this last piece, which is just basically placing stone bricks on top of the stairs. And now what we need to do is just raise this entire platform an extra two blocks. Right guys, I hope you've been able to follow everything so far. We're just going to move on to probably the most complicated part, which would be this front section of the basilica. 
and we're going to start by removing these blocks so one two one two replace these with oak woods remove the stair blocks and make them face inwards stair blocks again and we're going to push this wall an extra block forward and you can ignore this because it's going to be a balcony on the inside anyway moving back to some cobblestone stairs we're going to place it like so two against the pillar creating this shape and then sort of a triangle of three blocks so one two and three then full blocks straight across whoops and one upside down stair in the middle so you get this shape and what we're going to do now is just place another full block right in the middle with half slabs on either end and now you can create the cross using some cobblestone wall so now we need to sort out this side which is exactly the same as those two so we just need to copy it across it's going to be cobblestone stairs upside down cobblestone stairs and the cracked stone bricks on top then we're going to place cobblestone slab straight across the top edge and replace these three blocks. We're going to have jungle wood and a window in the middle. So again, let's do it one more time. Cobblestone stairs, upside down cobblestone stairs. The cracked stone bricks. Cobblestone straight across the top and then the window with the jungle wood planks. So now that we have that done, we can finish off the balcony by adding some cobblestone wall right on top of the oak wood. Now, we're not going to do that over here because that's just the window. And there we go. Now we're just going to grab some cobblestone stairs and place it right on top of these pillars. And we're just going to make sure that we face them towards the basilica. And we're also going to ignore the stone brick column. And now one last step is to go on the inside and place them upside down. And I've done that to the rest of the building just to save some time. So just to finish off the second floor, we're going to add some doors and windows. Basically, we're going to go to the center of these gaps, remove these three blocks and replace it with a window the exact same way we did before. Then over here, we're going to have a door. So jungle wood with the door underneath. That's going to be like the entrance to the balcony. And we're going to have another door on this side as well. Basically, what this means is that we have a 360 of the entire building. We're going to have a balcony on the inside and then we're going to have another door on this side. Same thing with the windows. Then again, another door. Same on the other side. Right guys, so that is a lot covered for today's tutorial. I'm going to leave it at that. This would be part one and I will try to upload part two as soon as possible. But we're going to cover the roof, the dome and hopefully fit in the interior as well. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned and don't miss out. So once again, thank you for watching. This is Gerocraft, over and out.